Welcome to the next installment of the Jamie Ramsey blog. I am staying in his van at the moment, and by Jove, it's a lovely, roaringly amazing place to be. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some more of this mindless rubbish. Roar! It's Easter Sunday. I'm in my camper van. Um, uh, I've just been away, spent a lovely weekend with my brother, uh, but now back to reality. Uh, I'm here with a box of hot and spicy budgeons chicken and a selection of craft beers and a lint egg. Mm. Time to kick back, watch a movie, enjoy Easter, eat chocolate with no guilt. Not that I have guilt most days. This morning for coffee, we are going to try out Vitamin Coffee. A smooth coffee that helps strengthen your immune system. A rich blend of Asian and African coffee with monsoon Malabar beans that leave an almost never-ending finish of chocolate and toffee. Infused with a high-grade multivitamin blend that is rich in vitamin C and D, which helps keep your immune system strong. Now, the taste test. It's pretty good. A billion times better than instant coffee. Um, so, yeah, I'd drink that again. Starting bank holiday Monday with a little bit of um, litter picking again. My bag and my glove. So that's another morning of litter picking done and uh, it's amazing just how many plastic bottles and the real killer today is cable ties like obviously from events and they've just left cable ties that's just disappointing they have people who can pick this stuff up if they're running an event um, a friend of mine said wait a minute you're lit picking completely just because you want to why don't you commit a crime and then you can do it as part of your community service <laughs> Probably not the best idea. <laughs> so today's training, having munched on Easter eggs all day, will be a couple of uh, kilometers in the swimming pool. And I'm not allowed to film in the changing rooms, but I'm filming in my locker, so I'm not sure if that counts. Um, that was a 4K swim, which is the longest I've done so far. Um, my eyes are pretty blonde, and my hair is like one big dreadlock. One of the embarrassing things about why I come to the gym to swim, or come to this pool to swim, is because the hair dryer, I can do my hair. It's, I feel that's a little bit um, metro. Uh. Adventure begins. Uh, I have been stagnant, uh, stationary, sedentary, everything for the last two weeks, and brain is starting to, to mush. And I'm on the beginning of maybe three to four weeks of traveling uh, leaving London today then I am going to France for five six days then I am going to Dorset for three or four days and then I am off to Mallorca to hopefully run the GR221 it's the Cape Wrath Ultra at the end of May that's uh, 400 kilometers from Fort William to Cape Wrath I look at the map of what that looks like, it's like massive! I think that's kind of kicked me into like, I need to train a bit more for that, so... So after yesterday's travels, I am in France. I'm here at my parents' house and so the things I'm going to try and uh, achieve while I'm here is one, uh, I am going to train. I'm going running this morning, so that's two, organise admin in life away from distractions of London. Three, spend lots of time with Sebastian, my one-year-old nephew. Four, I'm going to try and find a base. Um, I'm going to go and look at a house, a place called Marciac, which is that way. Um, jazz festivals and that kind of stuff. So, 
Yeah, they're my four priorities of my time in France. Training today involves um, running. I'm gonna go for like a 17 to 20K run just to ease in. To do that, I'm going, okay, my mother is going to drive me from here to where my sister's getting a haircut. I'm gonna chop me out the car and then I have to make my way back, which is a really cool way of training and stuff. Look at that, the sun is out. It is a perfect day for running. Um, so, um, just gonna get ready and head off. So after a very long time, I have received a new product which is these Ophos uh, flip-flop recovery shoe things. If you look at them straight away, I'm not gonna deny that they do look quite clumpy. Uh, and when you first put your foot in, they feel a bit weird. But I, actually, I really, really like them. They're really comfortable. Um, and you can kind of get over the, the clumpiness because you know they're actually doing you some good. So normal flip-flops are apparently very bad for you because when you put your toe in that top front bit, it kind of it creates a, a kind of gripping action, which therefore like kind of creates all the other muscles to tense and tighten. You put these bad boys on, they're kind of stuck in place. I think when you get used to them, they'll be uh, They'll be a regular part of what I'm wearing over the summer, it just may not be fashionable, but if it's gonna help me with my running, that is a-okay with me. I did a 21k run, and now I've set up a yoga studio here. This is the class I normally do. It's called Runners Keep Running. It's with a girl called Celeste Pereira. I'll put the details down below. The reason I like it is because she's actually a physical therapist and then she explains why you're doing the workouts, which makes much more sense in my head than just stretching. So it talks about why to use a foam roller and when to use blocks and all that kind of stuff. So if you're new to yoga, then it really just makes it kind of, it computes it in your brain. If this feels tight for you, you need to start lifting your hands, go for it, you can breathe. It never stops. Now curl the toes, let's push the floor away and